a labor of love. Volunteers picking up hammers in Newtown, restoring an old barn there. It's in honor of Catherine Hubbard, one of the 20 children who died in the Sandy Hook tragedy. News 8's Stephanie Simone spoke with her mom about her daughter's legacy. At just six years old, Catherine Hubbard was mature beyond her years and showed empathy toward all living creatures. She would capture, every kid does it, they, they put the worm or the butterfly or the frog in a jar and she would carry it around for the day and at the end of the day, she would let it go because she knew that they didn't belong to her. Catherine died in the gunfire at Sandy Hook Elementary in 2012. Her spirit lives on through her parents. That's why they founded the Catherine Violet Hubbard Animal Sanctuary. A lot of people lose their children. Um, and to be able to honor ours in such a special and tremendous way, it's humbling. You won't hear animals on these 34 acres yet. On Monday, work just started on this old barn. It was donated by the state of Connecticut. This whole beautiful property was, I think. The nonprofit Rescue Rebuild is lending a hand. Renovating animal shelters is what they do. This barn will be home to farm animals and classes for kids. Volunteers like Tony Mancini are the backbone of the job. It's just a privilege and an honor to be here to, to help, you know, keep a legacy going of Catherine. One day it will be able to help all types of animals find homes like these at nearby Sandy Hook's Baybrook Rescue and through education spread Catherine's sense of empathy to other children. It's breathing life anew and for us that is the best tribute to Catherine. And while they have about a dozen volunteers here today, they are desperate for more. If you'd like to help, you can come out to Old Farm Road here in Newtown this weekend. In Newtown, Stephanie Simone, News 8.